finish off the season strong. And obviously, you know, me personally being a, a veteran guy, like my motivation is to get that first run by. I want to buy week next week, you know what I'm saying? So that's the motivation to go out here and try to uh, play our best game so we can get that by. We get some rest off uh, so we get that first round by and, uh, you know, the playoffs and kind of the AFC can kind of come through Nashville. I know we don't play on your side of the ball, but having Derek back, what kind of a psychological boost is that to the whole team? I mean, it's great. Uh, obviously, I don't know how much of a psychological boost it's going to be because I think that, you know, we've been having a lot of success running the ball. Uh, but obviously, you know, having the King back was, would be great for everybody and be great for our offense as well, especially uh, how defense is going to try to defend us. Um, but like I said, we'll see how he looks today. But I know he's excited. So, you know, we're all excited. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot more people going to be coming out here trying to record him and see how he's doing during practice. So we'll see. Every, every reason to be fired up and ready for this game, you mentioned what's at stake. They beat you. Team that beat you guys right. here. I mean, biggest team, you know, no question, they'll be ready to play. No, absolutely. Obviously, they beat us earlier in the year, so it was definitely a revenge game. I know the offense didn't play as well as they wanted to. We didn't get no turnovers. They got like four or five. So, like I said, man, it's, it's, it's a big thing for us to go out here and try to finish this season off strong, finish off the regular season, obviously. What do you make of the narrative that this is a team that tends to play down to the competition, but also will level up? In this case, play down, you know, against Houston. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of, you know, this year, obviously, losing to the Jets, losing to Houston. Um, you know, I can see why people can say that, but at the end of the day, uh, I just think as a team, you know, we have to play football a certain way in the way that we do it. You know, when we turn the ball over, no matter what team we play, we usually don't play well and we don't win the ball game. So I think we go down there, don't turn the ball over, get some turnovers, run the football well, and they'll give us no big plays. I think we'll dominate this team. Similar question, Kevin, but, you know, there's some out there that say, okay, the, the Titans, even if they are the number one seed, they're going to be a weak number one seed. Do you guys hear that at all? Uh, uh, does it motivate you at all? Or, or? <clears throat> nah, man. I think that it's just how it's been and how it's always going to be. Like, people are going to pick apart, you know. I just look at it like we're just not the, we're not the darlings of the NFL that they want us to have. We don't have, like, the, you know, the, the passing numbers and, you know, all that good stuff. We don't have Mahomes and Josh Allen and all that stuff. So they're going to say what they want to say. But, you know, we've beaten all those teams. Obviously, we know that. But, you know, who cares? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, Wins and losses, the only stats that matter. And we've won more than we lost. So hopefully we can keep that going in the playoffs.